Welcome to our next lesson in Android application development over web services and internet connectivity using our Android application. So we've been talking about what a web service is, which is basically a uh, like an API or something you can call that unique connection to the internet where we can get information or we can send it information and it will make a decision for us and, and we can retrieve some information. So I gave you lots of information about SOAP and what web services are, so make sure to read that before you get started on the tutorials. But one of the things that we have to take into consideration when we're building uh, mobile applications that require web connectivity is that we require web connectivity, right? So we don't always find ourselves in a place where we have access to Wi-Fi or we have a good mobile connection. And so our apps have to be prepared to handle this kind of transaction and to know whether or not we should even be trying to make the call to the API because there is no Wi-Fi or mobile connection available. So in this first video, I'm going to show you how to check for both mobile and Wi-Fi Wi-Fi connectivity. And there are two class files that I gave you in the lesson, the Mobile Internet Connect Connection Detector. I can't talk. And I'm going to put these, you can see over here in my app, in my Java, I'm just going to paste these in here. I'm just doing a copy and a paste. So copy, paste, oops, not right there. There, paste. All right, we can see there's that Wi-Fi Internet Connection Detector, Mobile Internet Connection Detector. And what these two classes are doing is they're taking in a context, which in this case will be your main activity, and they're setting up a new instance of the Connectivity Manager, which allows us to query the system and see what kind of connections the device actually has. We're then setting up a Boolean variable that looks for a particular type of connectivity. So in this uh, Mobile Internet Connection Detector is looking for the mobile, if you go over to the Wi-Fi, you can see we're looking for the Wi-Fi. And that's just going to return a true or false value that we're then going to be able to test in our program to see um, if we have connectivity or not. So once you have these two classes pasted into your um, app section over here, we're going to come over to our XML, and we're going to create two buttons. I'm just going to drop two buttons on here so that we can have just a baseline for um, checking our mobile and checking our Wi-Fi. So I'm going to say this one is check mobile. Oops, I didn't give it a name. I'm going to call this, uh, yeah, check mobile. That's my button. And this one's going to be check Wi-Fi. So two buttons, we'll, and we'll just use these to test our our connection. So we'll come over here to the main activity get rid of some of these windows so we can see better. And I'm going to set up a couple of variables up here at the top of my class. So I want my status flag, that Boolean true, false, so is connection exist. Good name. So that's what's going to hold that response back from our uh, classes that determines whether or not we have mobile or Wi-Fi connectivity. So then we're going to set up two instances of the connection detector classes. So we have our Wi-Fi internet detector and our mobile internet detector. Great. So let's come down here to the on create. And I'm going to use the um, button on click listeners that we talked about last time so that I'm not going to set up separate methods for these. So I'm going to go ahead and instantiate my two buttons. All right, and that's uh, the button. Find view by ID. And it's a uh, check Wi Fi. And then same thing for our mobile button. Remember, you can name these anything you want. Just make sure you're using consistent names so that you remember which is which. Uh, check mobile. There we go. 
So two instances of the buttons. We're also going to need to create the instant or instantiate. I'll say instantiate the instances of the connection detector classes, right? The, these two variables up here, we're going to go ahead and instantiate those. So uh, CD mobile is going to be a new mobile internet connection detector, and then it's expecting a context, and we use get application context. So we're going to do the exact same thing for Wi-Fi. Perfect. And now we have the uh, button on click listener that will check for, we'll do Wi-Fi first, Wi-Fi status. All right, so we're going to set up that button on click listener. So we remember we use the name of the button, and then we do set on click listener, and it's a new view dot on click listener. And it's going to go ahead and try to set up these curly braces and set up your override view. That's great. All right, try to go with the syntax. Remember, we have that close parenthesis and the semicolon down here. It's probably the most offensive syntax that you'll ever see in Java development. No, I take that back. There's some worse ones. <laughs> All right, so in our on-click uh, view that is overridden here in our on-click listener, this is where we are going to get the Internet sat status. So get Internet connection status. So using that Boolean that we set up, we're going to call our connection uh, method that's in here. So let's look at the Wi-Fi connection detector. There's this method in here, Wi-Fi internet connection detector uh, class, and this right here, this method, check Wi-Fi internet connection. And so that's what we're going to call here. And so remember, that's just going to return a true or false based on whether or not the connectivity manager actually found a Wi-Fi connection that's on and enabled. So then all we do is determine the output value based on the response, Re result, response. So if, and we'll test our if connection exists, so if that's true, we have Wi-Fi. And so I'm just going to set up a toast. So we can see if our stuff is working. Toast, make text. Um, we want our main activity. This is our context. I'm just going to put yes, Wi-Fi. That's all the toast is going to show. And we'll do a toast length short. All right? If that's not true, then the Wi-Fi is not enabled. And so we're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to say no Wi-Fi. All right? Easy. Yeah? Okay, let's do the same thing again for our mobile button. We're going to set up this exact same section. In fact, you could probably just copy and paste it and change a few things. Let's do that. So I'm going to grab this whole thing, and I'll paste it down here. So this is going to check for the mobile status. So this is going to be button mobile status on click listener. It's going to do the CD mobile dot check mobile internet connection, which if you look at these two classes, they do the exact same thing. The only difference is this right here, right? So if our connection exists, we're going to say yes, mobile, and we're going to say no, mobile. Perfect. Done. So you can go ahead and test, and let me tell you something when you're testing. If you have your Wi-Fi on and you run this application, it's, it's going to say yes Wi-Fi, but it's going to say no mobile. Because your device is set up to always use the Wi-Fi over the mobile connection even if the mobile connection is enabled. Because the mobile connection has to be enabled in order to receive phone calls and text messages, right? 
over the regular cellular network. So that connection is required for those operations to work. But as far as the connection manager is concerned, and as far as, and giving permissions to applications, which permissions is something we haven't talked about yet. We have to do that before we test. Uh, the mobile connection doesn't exist. It's not on if the Wi-Fi is on. So when you're testing and you've got your Wi-Fi on, you should get yes Wi-Fi, no mobile. Turn your Wi-Fi off and check that you actually get yes mobile at that point. Now, I mentioned permissions. Uh, just like when we were practicing with the camera and stuff, we have to go into our manifest and actually request permissions to use, um, well, tell it that we're using internet and permission to access the network state. And so these are gonna go right here, right above the application section. So right here, um, we're gonna do uses permission. Android name is going to be android.permission.internet, there it is. And we also have uses permission, uh, Android permission, can't spell, access network state. All right, if you try to run before you have these two permissions in there, or if you don't have them in here correctly, and that's actually not, why did it just do that? That's not correct. Um, you know, these are case sensitive. I'll just type it in since it seems to be having an issue. There we go. If you don't have them in there right, it's always going to return false, and it's going to crash. And so be careful. <coughs> Losing my voice. Uh, be careful that you've got these in there. And so all this is going to do is listen for the clicks on those buttons and go and check our mobile connectivity. So in the next part of this lesson, we're actually going to look at using this information to make sure that we do in fact have connectivity using these two classes and then how we can set up a call to a web service so that we can um, actually communicate with that web service but this is an important step we have to make sure that we do in fact have that connectivity before we try to use it or our application just blows up in our user's face so enjoy 